God, I sure wish someone would come over and talk to me right now. Why? I've been having thoughts. What kind of thoughts? They've been keeping me up at night. I'm not used to having thoughts. You should turn your brain off then. That might help. Oh, okay. <clears throat> Well, I guess that's that solved. So I've got an idea. What's your idea? Imagine a whole new amphibian monster. I can't possibly see where this is going. I just came to me out of the... What if? What if it right. had green eyes? Like, yeah, that's pretty standard. And like a, a, a stone-like appearance. Okay. Okay. Sort of taking Tetsukabra's thing and making and, it creepy. And it, and it was on fire. I don't think that'll work. I came up with that myself. No inspiration? Zero inspiration. I'm just brain man. Yeah, you're right. It doesn't seem that inspired. Oh! Put the gong for, for emphasis! Damn it, gong lady! Don't gong him for emphasis! <laughs> All right. We've snaked it up. We've snaked it down. We've apexed it up. And normally snakes are down in the snakes and ladders sort of situation. Oh, ho, ho, yeah. What a silly board game. It is, isn't it? There's ladders and there's snakes and the snakes are sometimes bigger well, like, than the ladders. like what a combination of things. Like who came up with that? Well, I, I guess it's, it, isn't it shoots and ladders originally technically? Oh, shoots and ladders. Like you slide down it. You, how wonder when it became snakes. Like a, but, but also the shoots are more like slides. Why would no, you call it, was it shoots? Like originally snakes and ladders, like as far back oh. as... Is 19, 8, 1892. Yeah, that adds up. It is, it is a, sorry, a simple Sorry, sorry. Another name for it originally. Are you ready for this? For the game Snakes and Ladder. Are you ready? Yeah. It was called The Ladder to Salvation. <laughs> I'm sorry. Is the, top of the, is the top of the board game heaven? I hope so. Have you heard of a place called Dundorm? No. No. Never been. We have this place called the Elder Hall there, which functions somewhat like this gathering hall, but it's in Dundorm. Well, if that hall's so old, maybe this one is better. They have special quests there called G Rank Quests. You've been nominated to become one of these elite few. Congrats. Who nominated me? Think of this as your final test. Thank you. For me, your friendly neighborhood cowboy goblin. I don't think he said that. Let's go a hunting. A hunting we will go. That's the goal of most of the time we spend together. Sometimes it's a capturing. A capturing we will go. No, I don't think it really is ever, honestly. I'm just glad that, like, real life animal capture doesn't require us to place the animal within an inch of its life before, like, the trank darts work on it. Well, I mean, it probably is more effective. I think it's more like Pokemon rules in real like, life. Like, there's a new animal we need to bring in and give it some vet treatment in this, like, safari reserve. All right, who wants to volunteer to beat up the lion before I can I can put it down? I've got a so No swords! We're lion fisters only in these parts. That's an interesting group of people I've never heard of. Welcome to Tibet. Are there even lions in Tibet? I just wanted a snowy area, because we're in a snowy area. It's an interesting place to just go off the dome with. It's not exactly like a standard mention. Tibetan mountain lion? Is that like, a, is that a thing? It sort of sounds right. It sound like it, isn't it? I mean, there are mountains in Tibet. Oh, there's, a, sure. there's a, uh, a s snow. Oh, the emblem of Tibet is a snow lion, so. A s sorry, a snow lion? That's not a thing. Well, I know that there's Tibetan monks, so maybe one of their practices I don't is think to they're beat lions. up snow lions with their fists. Flying wyvern alert! Oh, he's flying. I love his little look down like, who the hell are you? Behold, for you. Loss. Yeah! The worst of the two. Disagree! Well, agree to disagree. Whatever you want, I guess, in this situation specifically. Call me Captain Chirp. I'm sorry, Captain Chirp? Are you are you like a bird that, that rides a ship? <laughs> Man, why you gotta pick up on everything that I say? Well, that's what happens when you say words usually around people. Sometimes I just wanted to be a subtle Captain Chirp without, you know, making a big deal out of it. Well, then why did you? Parrot power. Well, if the, if the parrot's the captain, then who's who's he sitting on the shoulder of? He's not. He's just stood there. And there's a little human on his shoulder. I was gonna say, is there they're like a, an even smaller bird? Oh my god, birds on birds. Birds on birds. Like a like a like, like a, a little baby bird. Like a goofy Pluto situation. Like an eagle with a with a hummingbird. Like the sentient bird people, but there's also like animal birds. So it's kind of weird. No one's sure if it's like a it's like. It, it's cool or not. It does seem a little slavery-ish, doesn't it? Only a little, though. Yeah, as long as it's only a little bit I mean, is it slavery if they're not intelligent enough to realize they're slaves? Yes. <laughs> I actually got some thinking. 
It was maybe. more just, I don't know how to respond to this, because that, that almost sounds like you're insulting. It's like, they're not intelligent enough to know that they're slaves. How do I know this? Because they're slaves. <laughs> no, I meant, like, if a, if, a, if a bird person that's, like, sentient has a bird animal that's an animal, and the animal doesn't realize it's, it's, a, it's a bird person's bird pet, then it's not really like a bird slave. It's more like a... A, a, a pet slave. I mean, it is. You, you can just call it pet. You don't have to call it a slave. <laughs> Are your cat slaves? No, but I, I am my cat slave. That does add up. Okay, stop shocking me. Stop shocking me. Stop shock. You're shocking me here. It's not, that's not in his agenda. What is on his agenda? Could you give me his like morning and uh, afternoon lookout? Wednesday. He's not got very full days from this. Well, yeah. I mean, he he lives in an empty ice cavern. The only time anything happens is a surprise. <laughs> so he's just complete blank. Frame. Just nothing. Oh, dig around in circles. <laughs> and Thursday, 3 p.m. Yell at a cantor. No, a cantor is not here. Yell at the vague concept of where a cantor could be. Yell at the notion of a cantor. I just got snowballed by his sharking. Well, isn't that lovely? Here, let me smack a you. Okay, Italian Josh. Well, when it comes to rescuing people out of snow, nobody does it like the Italians. Italians are well known for the ability to deal with famously snow-based snow creatures. 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 Well, technically, humans are creatures or animals, so you know it's it's all good. But are they sentient, the Italians? Jesus Christ, man! <laughs> and Jesus Christ is an Italian, so I feel. Like I thought you were gonna say out. just by the way, Jesus Christ isn't sentient. <laughs> just throwing yeah, it he, out he there. He wasn't a sentient creature. Yeah, stab him! Oh wow, okay, yeah, you really, really stabbed him. I did. That was that was specifically what you said to do. So I I I listen. At least on Yukanlos, it does vaguely look like a part of him that he cares about instead of just a Cantor's spine. I mean, a Cantor probably cares about it. Damn, I'm doing a lot of damage. We're all doing damage here. Do 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 do. That's nice music, man. Do 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 do. Do you like my Yukanlos tribute on? Like he's got an alarmingly like large amount of blubber. Well, yeah. Do you think he just exists in a cold place for his entire life? He's like if a whale had legs. Yes, yes, he is. It's like like half the point of him. I think at least over half his points are down his back. Where are whales' points? Nowhere. Whales don't have points, but it's still a relevant <laughs> question. I don't know. I don't I've met a lot of whales like with very that. good arguments. It's hard to deny. I don't know. Are whales sentient? They're uh, emotional. Yeah, but so are, like, children. I think children are sentient, man. I don't believe you. <laughs> like, whales cry. Yeah, so do doves. No, they don't. I don't know. Prince told me that they do. <laughs> well, I'm inclined to believe Prince. Of which country? Music. <laughs> Prince of Music Land. Prince Musician. Who's the king of Music Land? Uh, well, depending on who you ask, either Elvis or Michael Jackson. Which is the second time Michael Jackson's come up this the episode. Oh, it is the second time. I was depending on you. There is no contest between them. I mean, no, there's no contest, but they both have had the nickname of the king of, of, of different parts of music. See, look, he's putting up such a worse fight than a cantor. Yeah, he's not a fighter. He's a lover. He's not. I was like, where's he going with this? Okay. You want to know something interesting? You love Eucanlos? Well, I mean, yeah, but also Eucanlos' crotch is a health buff. <laughs> which I think says a lot. <laughs> Sick glaive user in a bar. Hey baby, my crotch is a health buff. If you know what I mean. Oh damn, I am in a I am in a deep hole here. Is it anything to do with his health buff? Uh, maybe. Hey, let me just bring this. What over is here. happening? Okay. He's chasing me. Who's he attacking? Oh, it's me. Oh, I mean, it was me, and then it was you. I don't know how we changed. Oh my no god! Again. He is attacking me. He, he is attacking me. Who is he me. kidding? Who is he kidding? Who's his kids? Dodo Gama, we've been over this. Like, especially if you look at his symbol. His symbol does just look like an old Dodo Gama. Can't, I won't accept disagreements with that. You make it sound like you can lost and La Shang Lung get together and like, kids, am I right? Well, I mean, I, I guess so. I don't I don't call him Rathalos's, like, father. He's, he's more just an old one. You don't think... So I guess in theory he would have children to make the young ones. You don't think an old Dodo Gamma you can Uh, I mean, I, I guess, yeah, but, it's, but I don't really think of them that way, you know? It's more like Viserios and Gravios. I don't think of them that way. It's more like how r some people believe that uh, Rathian is Jan Garuga's mother, you know? It's the creation of another species. I don't know who the Oh, it's a Cantor and you can lose. Because he's he's got the lava rock. What what would a hybrid a cantor you can lost be like? Dodo Gamma. Not all life becomes Dodo Gamma. No, I'm I'm saying that 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 was literally what I was saying before you asked that. 
Because he looks like he looks a bit like a tiny Eucanlos, but he's got like lava rock powers, which is an Akantor thing. Well, Kanto doesn't have lava rock powers. He just digs no, and yells. No, but he's got he's got the heat resistance, and and and, and he's got the, the big belly, which makes all the noise. But Dodogama's big belly is used for storing rocks, and he's got the heat resistance too. Digs and yells like an angry mole. I didn't realize moles could be angry. I thought they were just sort of a part of your body. Um, I don't like this. <laughs> to me had a health potion and it leapt off a cliff. I think it's more that you were running towards me with Snowball. I was like, yeah, I'll fix that. And then I saw him and I was like, this is not the time. And accidentally Stop made a potion. chasing me. I just that got caught because I naturally idea. beat the Snowball and had to do a little flex to show that I did. But yeah, imagine your entire existence being to literally blindly dig small holes in the ground. Man, I wish. That'd be the life. <laughs> I wish. What a life, man. Simple. You know what you're doing. You know where you stand. You don't have any quotas to meet. You just do it and, you know, you do your best. Speaking of that, I'm a snowball. Please fix me while he's in a down period so I can help. I'm coming over to you. Attack. Attack. Thank you. Imagine losing the human's naming lottery and having to be like, Yeah, I've finally been discovered and uh, named. Oh, cool. What'd you get? Naked mole rat. Oh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> Oh right, it's because you're like you're like a mole, but you're sort of more rat-like, and also you're naked. Yeah, honestly, I was hoping they'd you know maybe look past my lack of fur, but no, I guess it's pretty uh pretty overwhelming. Oh, you know what we've been forgetting, paintball. I thought what? Dude, you just threw a paintball on him and he teleported across the arena. Is that not what paintballs do? No, no, they're not portable displacement no. balls. I think I got the wrong ones. Excuse, why did what? I don't know, it seems pretty standard to me. Who'd win, you can loss or a farmer? You can loss? Oh yeah, I guess. Well, I was thinking because they're both like masters of the shovel, but I, I guess in hindsight one's like a human I wouldn't even shovel. call a farmer a master of a shovel. They're more like a jack of all trades. Like they have to know how to use a shovel, but they also know have to have to know how to use a hoe. Do you know how hard it is to use a hoe? Uh, I can't say I've ever, ever had to hoe a field before. Some of us are luckier than others then. Hoe is the, the right angle down I think the right angle. What's it for? What does it till the earth? What's the hoe do? It, it's it's the it's the preparation for planting. So like makes little holes in the ground. Look, man, I've not farmed in real life. I know farming games. <laughs> I'm giving you everything straight out of Stardew Valley. What the fuck do you want from me? <laughs> I'm, I'm just saying. I, I don't know what it actually does, other than what it what it does in. Theory. Well, I imagine hoes have been replaced by machinery at this. I point. mean, you can make you can make a a, a big a big hoe. <laughs> In the context of farming, <laughs> in the context of farming, I imagine the hoe is no You're right. longer. Right, the, the internet porn is industry is taken too far. Surplus to requirements versus a combine harvester. Well, no, that's not a that's not a hose job. Hose oh, are yeah, harvesters. Sorry. Combine hoer. Combine hoer. You know, there's something a lot worse about the word hoer than there is about the word hoe. Oh. No hoe. No ho, wo, bo, show, bo. This is the weirdest Santa Claus I've ever heard of. I didn't know you spoke Jadoon. What are you saying to me? Don't worry, that's just for all my Hoovians out there. Ah! I'm running really low on healing, and I was hoping to be allowed to have the second cart so I could get supplies. <laughs> I was hoping for a technical restock death, if I'm completely real with I you. was, but now that's, now that's off the table. Well, it's not off the table. It's temporarily on the floor, but if you give me some time, I'll pick it up and put it back on the table. Well, I can't get to the table anymore because the quest will end. Well, I'll come to the living room. You just hang tight. I didn't know that there was a living room here. I, d I didn't realize we were staying long Yeah, term. I mean, that's that's where we're fighting him, right? This is you can't lose his living oh, room. I mean, I guess it is, technically speaking. Like, where else does he live what other rooms is it? it's also his bedroom and his kitchen like what does he not do here what's he cooking uh hunter currently specifically ilia stew i think uh here here oh okay i didn't realize this was happening i'm not close to you gotta grab my glowing hand I'm, gonna, I'm going to run this direction grab my glowing I have hand. no idea what's happening behind me thank you you're welcome Warming effect is worn off again sorry it's because you came near me and i'm just so cool well, my problem is that I'm just really hot, so I get it. Look at us. We might as well change our name to Cool and Hot. I don't like that. One of them's cool. One of them's hot. They really like to hunt a lot. Cool and hot. Cool and hot. Cool and rot is the undead version. Yeah, of course, for a uh, hundred years from now. <laughs> oh, no, I've reached the other side of the arena. How do you dodge this attack? That's what I'm saying. 
His shark swim is one of the most notoriously, legendarily irritating attacks to avoid the entirety of Monster Hunter. If you're not oh, a fucking piece of ice came out from under the ground at random and just killed me. God, and you ruined the hunt. Yeah, it happens. It's like next goal wins. Last cat's the only one that. Counts. You always say that until you're the one that cards last. It's just such an ineffective attack as well. Maybe it's a defensive maneuver. Maybe he's trying to get away from us. You ever thought about that? <laughs> yeah, it's an evasion. That's before before GU. That's your kind of doing absolute evasion. Yeah. He's sharpening his chin every time as well. Oh, yeah. I've got the dodge on that down now. Oh, unless he does it twice in a row. What about when he turns around and comes back towards you, huh? Yeah, no, no, I mean, not if my weapon's unsheathed, no. <laughs> I feel like he really caught you out there. Yeah, just a little bit. <laughs> I forgot he does that. All right. Come at me. Oh, God, I wasn't ready. I was he not is. ready. What? But you said come at me. Well, I wasn't ready. How How much more ready do you want it? How much longer do you want him to wait than literally the phrase that says, I'm ready for this? Well, I bounced off his back and survived. So how about that? Well, that's good. I would prefer if you survive. So. All right, Cotton, good luck. He's got speed and distance. This is going to be hard to dodge. Oh, all right. That's fine. What? Back the other way. He just kind of teleported again. He's not teleporting for me, so I feel like he's synced to me weirdly rather than synced to the host. I did a mistake and I got punished and now I'm... That does happen, yeah. Now I can't talk no more because my throat was... I got sent lost. back in time. I got sent back in time to baby form, but I can still hold sword. The Benjamin Button monster. Benjamin Button virus. What, one day. <laughs> Forget the frenzy, forget the affliction, we've got de-aging cream. Oh my god, imagine the end game that would come from that, where it's just all of the monsters turn into babies for the end game. But for some reason that makes them really, like, really fast and powerful. Like, they don't lose any damage, they just get speed because they're smaller. <laughs> I'll bring them this way if that helps. Yeah, don't worry, I'm just stuffing plants into my face. I understand. We've all been there in life. Sometimes you just gotta really just pop open a bottle of time and just... <laughs> bottle of time. That's how we turn the monsters into children. I guess out of all of the traditional herbs and spices, that does sound the most like a superpower. Imagine just like being at some sort of like superpower gifting conference and it's like, you have the power to control time, not the one you're thinking of. <laughs> at your command, the herbs will swirl. What? I mean, it'd be a really effective like, uh, just a just a day job type of superpower because you could just like make time grow in seconds and then just have an infinite supply of sellable no, time. No, no, you can't you control know? its growth. You can only control pre-existing natural time. That, that doesn't seem very helpful then. I want a refund. Get ankle smash! Oh, bloody hell! That's where my heart is. What the fuck did I just say? I don't know. I don't know why you just said bloody hell at the end of the sentence. <laughs> it's definitely a weird choice. Get ankle smashed, bloody hell! I don't, I don't know how to interpret this situation. <laughs> Clearly, I was just saying I sent this you can lost to bloody hell. I guess. <laughs> He's now burning in the internal fires of a cantor. What's a cantor doing? Freezing in the internal ices of you can lost. Oh, fitting. I'll be honest, I thought he was nowhere near death. Nah, we did so much damage in like the first two minutes. Like, I feel like he's been near death. He's got such a horrified death face. Yeah, his eyes lose all, all like, eyeness. Like, that's a proper, like, ah! Yeah, I don't think he likes being dead. That's sort of why he doesn't seek out fights and instead just lives peacefully in a little corner of the world. Like, it's so horrifying. Oh my god, that's a soul steal if I've ever seen Also, a confirmation that Ucanlos is better because he's a later urgent quest in, in the progression of the game. Rejected. I mean, facts are facts. You're truly amazing, Hunter Fair. I've felt this happy since I had these three beautiful ladies. What? <laughs> is he their father or something? Still, like I'm seeing my own child off into the world. So many emotions right now. Emotions. His immenseness is waiting for you. He's, he can wait a while. He's pretty big. Yeah, no, he is, he is actually going to wait a while. So, <laughs> wait a while. <laughs> All right, guys, that's you can lost our final pre G rank challenge, which means we're about to get to G rank and do all of the cool G, G rank early monsters with G rank things doing G rankiness. Look at us, it's it's J cotton, and um, I probably shouldn't say yours. We're ready for that.
Okay, like you enjoyed this, subscribe to the Bubble Ball, get supporting the future of the channel on Patreon down below, and until we meet again, a good Bye. Bye. Josh, Cotton, and Hollow with the videos Dropping the humor like a hammer on your tippy toes Bringing entertainment on a daily arrangement To take our insanity and turn it into entertainment Yes, I said entertainment twice To reiterate that it is nice To look into your faces on a mostly daily basis When you let us in your homes to make the whole world a stage Is, uh, goodbye